I'm excited, scared, <sighs> nervous, and it just feels weird. Like, I am obsessed with babies, but other people's babies. And obviously, yeah, like, I've always wanted a baby and babies and to have a family and be a mum. But now it's actually happening, which is very weird. <sighs> Even feels weird to say, but yeah, um, stay tuned. I don't know what this is going to become, but this is the start for the baby. One day when they grow big, bigger than me, they'll watch this, hopefully. It's like good luck, Charlie, isn't it? Cute. Anyway, um, yeah, peace. Hey guys, welcome to my first trimester video. When I first found out that I was pregnant, I was all over YouTube. I still am all over YouTube and I just find these videos so helpful. So I hope it helps you. I'll basically be running down like what you can expect at appointments. I'll show you what my bump looked like. Well, bump, it was tiny at this point. Um, I'll show you what the bump looks like in the first trimester. And I'll also talk about things that you should have and any symptoms that I had as well. So I hope you enjoy the video. But the first thing is what my bump looked like in the first trimester. I'm going to insert a video right now. So I'm 11 weeks and 3 days or 4 days. I don't know. 11 weeks basically. And I will show you the situation. This is where we're at at the moment. Next thing which you can expect is for your linear negra to appear. This is basically just because of hormones, you just get darker patches on your skin and a line appears that is just called a linear negra. Doesn't mean anything really, but it's just because of hormones. Um, yeah, it just happens. So yeah, look out for that. Mine came really early, literally like five or six weeks in. Um, but usually it comes towards the end of the trimester, but yeah, just look out for that. Appointments. I had my first appointment, um, which is called like your checking in appointment where you meet the midwife for the first time. Um, and she just chats to you um, about like your family's health, your health, your partner's health, your partner's family health, just to get like an overview of everything. They give you a massive pack of things all about the baby and it will be like your hospital notes, your appointment notes, your baby's notes. There's a lot in there. I'll also show you that now too. Go to the um, midwife now and they give you this Mama Academy pack. Talk about keeping everything like under wraps. I didn't bring a bag to my appointment and they gave me this big thing. Luckily it could hide in my coat. But yeah, um, it's just not subtle, is it? <laughs> Next, we can get into symptoms. Oh my gosh, tiredness. It, so you're so tired that <laughs> it hurts. Like, you just want to cry. That's how I felt. But it wouldn't be every single day. It'd be like random days. And um, I'd be chilling and be sitting upright and just fall asleep. Um, on the phone fall asleep although that wasn't really a new thing but I'm guaranteed to fall asleep a lot more and I was just so exhausted taking naps which I don't even like to do um, and yeah that's been the craziest stuff like really tired and then just feeling a bit sick um, but nothing to like I haven't thrown up thank god <laughs> and it's not been like oh my god I can't eat I can't do anything I just need to lie down it's just been like like even right now, I just feel a bit, mm, but it's not like the end of the world. So that's good. Week five and six and seven, the back pain. Oh my gosh, the back pain was insane. I had to lie down with like pillows all around my back because it was killing. Oh, and it was kicking up the night as well. That was really painful. And then also like period pain type feeling. Um, and again, that was all fine. Like it's all manageable, but it's just like, rah, like this ain't really gonna stop, is it? It's just not gonna stop. And you can't really do anything about it either. Um, but that's definitely stopped now. Like I don't really get back pain anymore. Just like a sore back, but that's again nothing that isn't just like my usual back hurting. But the back pain that I had in like week five, six and seven was like, oh, this is different. Um but yeah, week 11, week 10 slash 11 was just tiredness, a bit sick, but not throwing up, just like, mm, usually, let's like say, and oh, do you know what's been the most annoying thing about this whole thing 
is sleep. So I'm tired, yeah? So the, sleep in the night is the issue. I'm very tired, but I wake up at between four and six every night to pee. And I also get up, eight o'clock will be like a lion for me now. Me, like, <laughs> it's crazy. That's annoying. And I'm really tired when I wake up and it's just like my new automatic alarm is like, I usually wake up at like, 7.40, that sort of time, but I have no business to. So that's very annoying, like my body just doesn't want to sleep. And then you feel sick in the morning and then really you don't want to eat till like 11ish. So I thought that time just feeling sick and I'd rather just be asleep so I could avoid that. And morning sickness is not morning sickness. I saw this video where this woman was like, I bet a man named it that. I agree because <laughs> morning sickness is all day sickness, it's night sickness, morning, afternoon, it just comes when it wants to come. There's no morning about it. It's not just strictly the morning. So don't let them trick you. So let's talk about must haves. I didn't get my pregnancy pillow in the first trimester because I thought that my back pain was, it was painful, but it was so on and off that I thought like, I don't need it yet. Like it's not that bad. Let me not just, let me just firm it essentially. Um, but looking back, I mean, there wasn't really any harm in getting it. It's quite comfortable. Um, so yeah, I'd say get yourself a pregnancy pillow. Um, another must have, and this is what I did get. Um, ignore the state of this box. It's a long story. Um, basically, pregnant care. This is the, there goes one. This, these are the vitamins that you should take. Basically, as soon as you find out that you're pregnant, jump on these. Um, there's original, plus, and max. And I literally, like every time I went to the shop, I would only see one. So I literally saw the original, bought the original. Then that would run out and then I found out there was a plus. So I bought the plus. Then I found out there was a max and I've ended with the max. So now I'm strictly using the max. So they support you and your baby, making sure that you've got all the essential vitamins that you need. Um, for example, like folic acid, um, vitamin D, etc. Um, and then there's just the different types. Like max says that it contributes to normal fetal brain and eye development. So of course you want um you want that so go for these ones and yeah so make sure you take your vitamins every single day. Also stock up like if there's three for two go ahead and buy it because they each pack lasts about a month roughly and obviously pregnancy is long so just buy as many as you can all at once. I would always buy one like, I don't know why I done that and then I'd be like oh I've run out so just grab them all. I would say that a major change for me in the first trimester was towards my skincare so if you don't know i have acne i've had acne for so 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 long and um, i've got a page all about acne positivity called at don't pop that spot on instagram so if you want to check that out check that out that would be great um so in the first trimester my skin was just the same as usual like loads of spots quite rashy etc and i was actually uh, where is it i was using dermatica's bespoke treatment where they kind of like put you go online and they um take you take pictures of your face show them it and it's like an online gp where they can prescribe you with acne treatment so i had tretinoin and niacinamide but this has vitamin a in it which is not good for your baby so i had to completely stop using that and i instead decided to use benzoyl peroxide which was recommended to me as an item that is safe to use so this is the acne side one and actually i don't know whether it was this or just pregnancy in general but my face dramatically got better but i will talk about that in later videos as you can see like my face is basically completely spotless but yeah that's it really that was the first trimester it was yeah it's all just magical isn't it um but yeah it's an exciting trimester you get to see your baby for the first time you get to hear the heartbeat for the first time and you just go through a lot of different things and of course everyone is different so let me know how your first trimester has been or how it's going i would love to know and we could all just chat about stuff um yeah so that's it really i will see you next monday for my next video Mwah. goodbye